Hi everybody, Steven here. This is the part two of the uh, quarter panel wheel housing and trunk drop off uh, replacement. Uh, in this portion, I'm gonna basically focus on the trunk drop off and the inner wheel housing. And we'll talk maybe a little bit about the outer wheel housing and that should be enough for the content. So if you're interested in that, stick around. We'll see you in a bit. Thanks very much. See you soon. Hi everyone, so we're back. Uh, what we're gonna do is start to tackle the uh, inner wheel well and uh, trunk drop off. I actually got the trunk drop offs here. Um, again, I bought this many moons ago. Let's get a clearer shot on that. American design, looks like it says it's made in Canada. Anyways, um, but there it is there. This is the driver's side I'm gonna tackle. You can see it's um, rusted up a bit. I've had it sitting around. Yeah, I haven't been taking care of it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is um, is basically clean my hands. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, sandblast it. I cleaned up, sandblast it, and I'll paint her up or primer up, and then we'll start looking at it. I'll put some uh, weld through primer on the edge here. This goes underneath the trunk pan. I don't know if you can see this. So it goes underneath the trunk pan here, uh, and it goes all the way up over here, right? Now you'll say, hey, Steve, previous episodes you actually welded that in actually if you look here in the corner of the trunk pan I didn't weld that hopefully you can see it and there's a screw there self-tapping so I still have a little bit of flexibility to lift this tuck that underneath if I look underneath my vehicle here you'll see I already got weld through primer underneath the trunk pan so when that when this butts up against it when this butts up I'll be able to do some plug weld so why don't we do that for today and then we'll take it from there and uh, I obviously got some cleaning up to do for the inner wheel well maybe we'll talk a little bit about that uh, as well but for now let's get on this trunk drop off see you in a bit I'm gonna go and uh, sandblast that so the next time you see it it should be clean see you in a bit okay so I've been cleaning up um, doing a kind of a rough fit here with this I noticed the inner wheel well has got a shove forward here and it looks like it's tucked underneath the running board right i don't feel like slicing into my running board i'd rather slice into this piece so i'm going to notch it out so it moves forward and also over here i'm going to notch it out so it goes forward uh it needs to sit behind this railing here which it's off quite a bit but since i still have the uh outer wheel housing to go on that i think it's a little thicker here so it should meet up so we'll see these are aftermarket products right so we'll have to see how things pan out I'll take a look at some of my before and after videos, like for example, uh, this right here, right? And this line here, is it supposed to be to the left of that bump, to the right of the bump? I'll take a look at some some videos over here and stuff like that. But anyways, just I thought I'd let you guys know. I'm gonna cut that out, shift it forward, and see how things work from there. But apart from that, uh, also, let me just rip this out. If I look at my drop off, the quarter ends right here. This is part of the original quarter right there, right? So it ends right there and I got it butt up against it and you'll see it's a little long, right? So I got to trim this. Now I've known some, I've seen some other YouTubers uh, using these drop offs and they've had to trim them and stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to trim it in the back here to be on the safe side. Let me take off like a half inch. But I'm going to play with this uh, inner wheel well first or wheel housing first and then do all this. And again, I cleaned all that up and you'll see I put um, copper well through primer on it. There's copper well through primer under here, which I've already pointed out. So we'll see us back in a bit when I get everything kind of quite possibly tacked into place, loosely tacked into place. All right, everybody, we're back. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's the far shot. You can see I got things cleaned up in here. I got my well through primer, okay. Um, and again, all this stuff has been sanded down, cleaned, well through primer all around. And again, down in here at the bottom, where I found that cloth, again, I cleaned up here. Couldn't get all the way inside here, so I put in some uh, rust cutter or 
crud cutter the muster rust again i'm not endorsing it hey it's better than me throwing that nothing i got some plans down the road what i'm going to do with that later on but for now um nice so i've cleaned up everything and it's pretty much ready to um put the wheel housing on i'm going to probably paint all this in here before i put it on because then it'll be a pain in the ass afterwards um uh, so the next time you should see it i should have the wheel housing in place the inner wheel housing in place and then i got to mark out where i got to uh put well through primer on that okay so we'll see you back in a bit all right everybody uh let's get some light on the situation here you can see i've got the uh yeah well we'll do with what we got <laughs> you see i got the trunk drop off installed it's not fully installed i just got a couple of self-tapping screws i did put a couple plug welds into it just to hold it in place i think this one here is pretty much good to go to be honest with you uh i basically you'll see i got my inner wheel well or wheel housing uh clamped in place uh, now i actually kind of made a mistake i thought that this wheel housing came all the way down to here but it doesn't right i actually looked at the other side because i was trying to fit this and it just wasn't didn't compute right so i didn't need to cut out this over here i didn't need to do that so oh well live and learn right and i didn't need to do over here as well um anyhow uh i've got it clamped in place uh what i did is i took a measurement from you probably can't see that from here from this point here up to here on the other side and it's about five eighths of an inch took another measurement from here to this lip here it's about two and a half inches right um i think everything else feels good uh, i'm not too too concerned about the inner wheel well uh if it's off a bit it's okay it's the outer one that i'm really worried about because obviously it's got to line up with my quarter so um now what i got to do now is trace out you can probably see i made a little tracing mark down here right so i'm going to trace out various spots where i have to put well through primer basically where all these brackets are connecting and and stuff like that everything's all cleaned up so um so i'm pretty much uh, once i've done that i'm gonna take it off put uh sorry i'll take it off drill my uh, plug well holds put the well through primer and then i'll put it in and tack it in place and you should see it the next time it's tacked in place that's it so we'll see us back soon okay folks stick around by the way if you stuck around this long hey hit that subscribe button i'd really appreciate it thank you very much By the way, this is how I knew that that uh, the um, wheel, inner wheel well housing or wheel housing on the driver's side doesn't go all the way down the bottom. I looked at this side, this is the passenger side, and you can see it's kind of coming across here. And there's kind of like, well, there's some distortion here, but roughly about a little over a half inch right here distance, right? And again, the side, this, this didn't take me long to pull out because that's what it looked like. <laughs> Yeah, let's take a look at this master piece. Let's get some cloth and bondo it. That's the that's the uh, passenger side. So, anyways, that's how I kind of determined the distances as well. I measured measured this as well, right? Always good to take pictures and take measurements and stuff, folks. I'm, I'm glad I got this YouTube stuff going here um, because I can refer back to it. So, like I said, we'll see you back in a bit when I get everything all. Um, in place and get ready for tacking hello everybody uh so the wheel well is in uh you'll notice i've got my outer wheel well but it's only clamped i did not uh, weld that in my inner wheel well is welded in the trunk drop off is now welded in so i've committed on those um and you can see let me just go on the inside here you can actually see the inner wheel well is tacked in. I got a cleaning up to do, obviously, in painting. Um, I still got that patch down here um, to, to make, but I'm going to wait till pretty much everything is done. Now, I didn't weld in the outer wheel well, and the reason for that is uh, I need to still fit my quarter panel on here, or the skin that I have. But I think that's it for the video. Um, and uh, one of the reasons why I, I, I um, decided to hold off on welding this is because I need to adjust this and I got to make sure it lines up with the quarter. Um, so I'll be finessing with that as we go on, go along and I still got some work I got to do down there. Um, but that's 
that's pretty much it for this video. I think that's enough for, for now. Um, what we'll do. Yeah, I think that's a, enough for this video. And uh, what we'll do for now is we'll cut this video. Uh, thanks for sticking around and watching the end. Uh, stay tuned for the, the next part. That will I will actually be installing the quarter. Um, so that one, hopefully, hopefully, thumbs up. It won't take too long. But again, thanks for sticking around. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And if you found this useful or entertaining, hey, smash on that like button for me. I would really appreciate it. Have a great day and bye for now.